Hello guys, thanks for checking out the second video of my Source SDK tutorial series. Uh, sorry I haven't been uploading stuff again. Uh, I've just been really bunkered down the school and I've been waiting for summer to come. So I promise when summer comes I'm going to start uploading a lot more uh, tutorials and reviews and stuff. So sorry about that again. So in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to use clips. And what a clip is, is it allows players to jump on an object or you can block them off from an object so that they cannot go through it or they can jump onto it. So pretty much what it is, is it's just a solid box that is invisible while in the game. So say I want to be able to have a player jump onto this little tree stump here. So what I want to do is I want to go over here to click browse and the texture menu will come up and I want to go ahead and type in player clip. So a player clip is for players obviously and a clip is just for like blocking bullets and such. And you can use either a clip or a player clip, it doesn't really matter. So go ahead and double click on that, get your block tool out and then go and locate your uh, your object in your map here. So I got mine right here. I'm going to click the block tool and I'm going to put it right around the perimeter of that object. Now I don't want it that big so I'm going to go ahead and resize it. Resize it as so. Then you're going to want to go ahead and check down here to make sure it's not going below your map, like which mine isn't, so I'm good right there. And you can raise it however high you want. Uh, you probably know how to do that on your own. Uh, then once you're done resizing everything, go ahead and click enter. So that places a player clip right on that object. So you can see now when they jump onto this object, let me give you a better view here. So if they jump onto this object, they'll be floating wherever this player clip is. This is really useful for, uh, you know, the things I said before. So anyway, this has been the tutorial on how to uh, make a player clip in Source SDK. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And most important of all, follow me on Twitter. Thanks for checking out this tutorial, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.